this tutorial, we will learn how you can make money when you don't currently have a product to sell and you're looking for an item to sell. This method is known by some as the eBay arbitrage method, which means you're buying something on eBay, reselling it on eBay, or reselling it in another location. So, first, you will need to go to eBay. If you have an account, great. If you don't, sign up for one for free. When you're using this method, you don't shop like you would normally shop. So, here's an example. If you're looking for items to sell, you're not going to be looking for, say, one item or two items. You want to find them in groups. And the reason you want to find them in groups is the more items that you have to sell, that increases your um, income stream. So, I mean, if you sold one thing, that means you can only sell that one thing. But if you have four, five, or ten, then you have an opportunity to sell a great deal more. So how you are going to go about shopping on eBay for the purpose of reselling is you're going to look for items in lots. So for example, if you were looking for some costume jewelry to sell, you could type in the words jewelry, but also type in the word lot. You will notice there are, are a whole bunch of different categories by which you can search. And I would encourage you to search by the area that you have the most familiarity with and that you're comfortable with. For this example, we're going to look under costume jewelry lot. So here you can see in this particular lot, you get everything shown. Now this one is a bid, so you can pretty much bid what you want. Now, in addition to that, you can find um, Sometimes you can just search for earrings if that's what you're looking for, or you can just search for an assortment, okay? Rings, someone's placed a bid here. This one here is showing you five mixed vintage items. They're selling them for 40. Trust me, there are a lot of deals out here, a lot of deals, and not too many people know about it. In this lot, they're selling the whole lot for 34. Based on what you know about your pricing, this is what I would tell you. Whatever you could sell it for in a store, say like your local retail store, make sure you price yours 50% or even less than, and chances are you're still going to make a tremendous profit. Most people have no idea how much markup is involved in retail pricing. Now also, another area that you might be into if you craft, you can look on here and you can find um, designer beads or a bead lot because I know some people make their own jewelry and you can find all kinds of beads some people shop at their local Michaels or other craft stores trust me if you're making your crafts from that location <laughs> you're not getting the best prices the best prices are in lots that you can get here on eBay and then you can resell I mean look at this that's a bargain all day long all day long but there's even more opportunity depending on what you're comfortable with now uh, I know something that most women um, enjoy are handbags so we could type in designer handbags and lot remember this is what you're looking for you always type the keyword whatever it is that you're looking for and then look for lot now, let's look through here and just see if we see something that kind of catches our eye. Now, this one right here is saying you get the whole lot, and they're bidding, they're starting the bid at $29. I don't know about you, but I'm looking at this, and l let's just say that you bid 40 bucks. I'm pretty sure you could sell that coach bag for a lot more than 40 bucks. You could probably easily get a, a good 100, maybe 125, and that would more than pay for that whole lot. That's just an example. Let's look to see what else we can find in here. I mean, there's some great items in here. And I know some people, for their own purposes or their own personal use, they search this way. So we're just looking through to see. Wow, they've got some great buys in here. Okay, let's look for something else. Like, we could look in here and we could even find new cell phones. Cell phone lot. Let's see what we can find. Wow, I mean, I know if you do your homework, Blackberries alone 
on the on the low end, depending on the model and the make, you can sell them for sixty dollars a piece. And I, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Depending on the model, you can make as little as sixty a piece up to a hundred dollars a piece. Do your homework and look into the various lots of items that they have. Another um, thing that's kind of hot too is uh, we can put in here designer jeans. And let's type in lots just so you can see what's out there. There are some pretty good buys. I know that there are people who do nothing else but buy used jeans and resell them. I knew um, a family that came here from Europe and what they buy jeans for in Europe is a whole lot more than what we pay here in the States, even for used jeans. So let's just say, like when you saw, let's go back up here, okay? And that designer, let's go back, designer handbag. Designer handbag, let's see here. They're not typed here. Okay, designer handbag lot. So let's just say, that you saw um, something and you purchased it on eBay. Here's how you could sell that. So say for example you bid on this lot and you won the lot. You could sell each bag individually or you could resell it on eBay as individual products. The other thing that you can do is take a photo of the items and in your local area on Craigslist under services you could post an ad for free under the beauty section and so that you can get a quick sale make sure you list all the details you take a nice clear photo and include your phone number your phone will probably be ringing off the hook so using the eBay wholesale lot or item lot you can find a number of products way below retail trust me girls even if the items are used, there is value in them. So if you're looking for items to sell, this is a method that you can use.